is a founder, right? Woo! Yes. yes! That means we're not only getting pounded every single day by the ways of life, but we're also just choosing to show up the next day. Woo! Woo! So today, we're gonna get pounded by some real waves. Who's ready? Uh, yeah! yeah! Let's go surfing! So, one of the reasons why I also surf is because it helps your dating life. I added it to my profile a few months ago. I was just like, hey, let me know if you need to surf. The conversion rates are always like 99%. If I like somebody and I swipe right, they will swipe right on that message because they want a free lesson. And then they realize how charming I am. And then when we have our first date, it's immediately set up because they want a, like a, a follow-up date. So honestly, if you haven't tried surfing, like, you should not for the activity, but also to improve your dating life. Do you think this works for guys? A hundred percent. It's gonna be really helpful. Also, I think this is kind of weird. If a girl knows how to surf, it's really great for s because the same position you need to someone is like riding a surfboard. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Jacob, you're you're still working? Dude, what three doesn't sleep? Wow, damn. <laughs> tech bro energy. Except Louise is not tech bro. Are you tech bro? Not me. Me? Never. You fit in though. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty good at morphing into tech bro energy. If I need to bring it out, I will. But I feel like there's a difference between tech bro and like web free like, bro. Bless you. <laughs> You're getting bored over our conversation. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just my reaction to web three bros. <laughs> We've arrived to Irisiera. Yo, look how fat those are. Ooh. We have a problem. We have a problem. Spill. This beach is the only beach that's closest to the surf shop, but the waves are big, there's lots of rocks, and there's not a lot of people out, so we might not have as much assistance or help. Hmm. Basically, we could risk it, surf here, or my recommendation is checking out the other beach. I'm, I don't want to die today. You don't You don't want to die? I mean, What's... coming close to dying really like, gets what my do you guys think? Thumping. Do you guys think this is scary to y'all? Yeah, so, this is scary. This is a huge wave that ended rock. And there's not really a place for you to like dive with your feet first without getting caught up. Where else can we go? There's one. Why don't we go take a look there? Okay, it's a five minute drive. Let's just check it out right. and we can see what we prefer. No. There's a funeral home, just in case. No, but like, what do you guys think? Looks good. I mean, just judging by people and- This looks a lot better. A lot better. I would say this is our move. Yeah, we should not do the other place. Let's go here. Look at that. There's like a, literally like lifeguards, just in case. Oh wait, that looks beautiful. Look at that. That's perfect. It's not too big. So, we found a better beach with better waves. However, we don't really have boards or know where to rent boards that are available for 10 people. So we're going to divide and conquer and hopefully the surf shop will have our boards. We found some boards. Now we're gonna get another wetsuit. Go straight, then left, and then down there. Bye right, bye. We're about to go surfing. I'm gonna quickly close my eyes and manifest how I wanna to surf today. I'm gonna ride a wave, fucking do a switchback, paddle out there for my life, and just have a lot of fun. I do have to say, I actually apply the visualizing thing to more than just surfing for manifesting your work or career. I close my eyes, meditate, figure out what I want to do of the day, and it helps me just kind of get settled and be more productive. I think that's why I love surfing so much. It's like a form of meditation, just to be out there in the ocean. It's, it's super fun. Just finished surfing. How was it? Did you have fun? So fun. How it was, was it? awesome. It was awesome. How was it, Alex? Did you have fun? So rough. <laughs> we are now gonna get food because we're dying. We're oh, dying. We didn't mention that part? Yeah, we're dying. We're dying. Everyone's really sore. Luis. Sore winners. Our hey. watchdog. Uh, Amazing work. <laughs> I just saw you ticketing. I don't know if anything got stolen. <laughs> 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 you can't do that. Okay. I want to give a speech and thank Caleb for driving. 
Andrew for not eating me, Alex for literally crushing it today, Luis for being at the best watchdog, uh, shout out to this restaurant, Esplanda Fernas, and me for being the best leader here. Surfing is a lot like running a business. You need one person to be the CEO and the pack will follow. That's why you guys need to be able to grind your hearts out, get pounded, and wake up the next thing, show up again. Mm. Whoa, guys, this is really good. Okay. Let's see if we can back out of this mother beep. Mother beep. Reverse? Oh my god. Oof. Oh, it's Put not it in that reverse. bad. Yeah, I should get it. Oh, there we go. All right. It makes so many goddamn noises. It's not even a Tesla. Yay! We're going home now. Bye, guys. Okay, time to get some work. Yes, I'm gonna be so productive. Wait. Oh no. Oh. Forget something? Wait. Jade? Hello? Jade? I think Jade decided to take a little nap. So I actually have a lot of work to catch up on today. I have to reply to emails, send out tasks for my team for the whole week, and I have to work on filming a YouTube video for NF Tree, basically explaining to you guys what my new NFT project is about. And honestly, I was supposed to do all of this. And honestly, this video is filmed in two parts. Yesterday I went surfing and today I'm working. And I'm making this whole video of a day in a life just to make it cool and cinematic and make you guys think I'm productive and always perfect. But in reality, I was so tired from surfing, I couldn't work at all in the afternoon, even though I was supposed to, and I just slept. And I know watching all these day in a life YouTube videos can make you feel shitty about your own productivity because you're like, wow, this person works so hard. But I'm telling you, most of these YouTubers are sharing a story and there's a lot of editing and movie magic that happens like this video. And I just wanted to be honest with you guys that I'm not like that. I personally take a lot of naps. If I'm tired and I don't feel like working, I'm just, I'm not gonna push myself to the limit. And I did start my period today, so. I'm just not feeling 100% and I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say that I'm having this perfect life So if you guys are feeling shitty about your day or where you are in life Just remember that you are more than enough and you know take care of yourself and take naps Don't push yourself if you don't feel like it because life is more than just grinding and make sure you remind yourself that you are enough You are in the right place. I actually do have to leave though really soon to go to a boat party But I still have work to do but I have to go to a boat party. <laughs> okay, I just finished filming. I just barely made it to this boat event. They literally won't let me in. We were here like maybe one minute before we're supposed to be here. Oh, and they literally left without us. Fuck, I'll ask the guy to yeah. come back. Yeah. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> They're literally, I see them. Oh my. Oh, <gasps> someone's coming. Hello, someone's hello. Hello. Thank you. Are we waiting for anyone else? Actually, let me double check. He made it. Did you sleep today? 